diving underneath, see what it looks like from below. The Lazy Pier is one of the biggest that I've dove under and it had a lot of different landscapes going on underneath. Of course, there's the iconic sunbeam views when you look up at the pillars. And on the ground, there's a mix of sand, rubble, and hard corals, all hiding critters. But of course, we weren't gonna miss anything. So the pillars themselves had to be searched. And on their sides, we found countless little wonders. Among the rubble, a mixture of rocks and steel thrown from above, I found this giant moray peeking out from his cave. Hawkfish made an appearance, but little did I know until researching later that there's actually many different species of hawkfish, and this one is an even more colorful variation. One of those pillars that we searched had this Limbrotha species of nudibranch, but when I looked around the area, there were tons of them everywhere. This one wandered around in the sands, presumably looking for something tasted to eat, or perhaps even a fellow Limbrotha to mate with. It's a good chance this little dude was looking for a mate because we found many different couples under the pier doing their seductive tango. If I haven't mentioned it yet, all nudibranch are hermaphrodites, both with male and female parts. When they come together, their four sexual organs, two of each, come together and simultaneously impregnate and get impregnated by one another. Even full of eggs and sperm, they cannot fertilize themselves though, just in case you were wondering. Of course, I took a nice little wedding photo of the lovely couple. Not far off, there was another looty break that must be a little further along in its term, as I got to watch it lay its eggs on the side of a pillar. A yellow ribbon of thousands of eggs full of new little critters. I 
I've shot a lot of flat worms in this episode, and believe me, we saw way more than we could show. But certain ones you just can't ignore. Even though I covered many marine flatworm species in my book, and even though I've seen dozens and dozens of varieties around the world, I'm still in awe when I can find a new one that I have not seen before. One with awesome patterns like this one. I never get tired of watching them. Believe it or not, this is a nitty break as well, really showing how many amazing varieties and shapes and sizes that they come in. This one was so tiny, it's almost invisible to see, as it clings to the side of a stinging hydroid. What I didn't know while filming this was that the little guy was laying a string of eggs. After looking at the footage now, we can clearly see the eggs here, with more working their way out of its body. What an amazing find. I was in shock when I saw this later. It's always an incredible wonder when you get to see how the world works at such a microscopic level. Sea snakes are a common sighting all over the country. And if they aren't swimming along the reef looking for a meal, they can be seen swimming towards the surface to get a gulp of air.